Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. All of us would be uh, very keenly watching the uh, Nifty market. So the Indian indices are like really going in a very bullish trend. The uh, market has uh, touched 26,000 in the past few sessions and uh, it was uh, all time high yesterday and it was all time high today as well. So while the Nifty has touched the 26,000 mark, the real action has been happening in the mid and the small cap sections. So the small cap and the mid cap have been like significantly outperformed. So they have shown up a real big rally in this. So this is because uh, the domestic and the foreign investors are really active in these segments. So the domestic liquidity has uh, made this rally. The FIAs also have started jumping into the game. They have started investing back into this. So the valuations are getting stretched. So the Nifty is a PE ratio has come almost about uh, 20.8x, which is still lower than what the small cap is. The small cap stands now at 23x, while the mid cap is at the topmost in the chart where it comes to 33 times. So the 33x indices is uh, really raising concerns about sustainability. Will this be like taking forward or will this uh, sustain moving forward in the market? So there are a lot of headwinds and tailwinds which are there, uh, which is going to be like uh, considered or which is going to be like uh, taking charge of the market. So the performance of the stocks or the market will be like definitely uh, taken care by these uh, headwinds and tailwinds. So before we uh, go further, we should know what a headwind and tailwind are in the stock market. So these are metamorphically just uh, keywords which are used in the uh, factors that are going to determine your market's uh, bullish trend or your downtrends. So the headwind normally uh, refers to something, a challenge or an obstacle that can bring a negative impact to the stock or to the market or to the market sentiments. So these are nothing but your resistances. For example, uh, it, uh, when a stock is trying to uh, find it difficult to breach a specific price and move higher, so that we call it as a headwind. So this could be because of various factors. So one such factor would be your rising interest rate. So when the interest rates are uh, increased, when the borrowing cost is normally increased, the consumer spending will automatically get reduced. The corporate profits will also may be like uh, impacted. So that uh, results in your stock prices uh, rising. And um, the geopolitical tensions or the wars that's happening or the sanctions that is yet to happen by the government that also play a very huge role. Then the economy uh, status as whole, well, the country's growth, the high end unemployment categories, all these play a role. Then the inflation also play a very big role in the market because that erades out the uh, purchasing power of people and uh, their margins. And further, uh, there are some, some regulatory things that could happen because of the government's uh, new uh, laws in um, your uh, stock buyings or in specific sectors or in specific kind of an industry. So these all play a very vital role in all your headwinds of your uh, business. Uh, the currency fluctuation, they also play a very huge role because the exchange rate volatility can bring about MNC companies earnings, they all uh, automatically tend to be re reduced. Then uh, the consumer's confidence, that plays the uh, very vital role because the market is totally driven by the sentiments of people. So when consumers are less confident, their spending and investments are automatically reduced, that automatically reduces your business or the things that happens in the market. So these are some of your headwinds. So coming to the tailwinds, tailwinds are something that are favorable or that can help you boost the market's performance. So they provide up a very supportive environment, making it uh, easier for people to purchase things or uh, things that could automatically appreciate. So for example, um, we could include a scenario where uh, a thing like uh, uh, the lower interest rate. So if the interest rate becomes lower in the market, people start borrowing up money and that automatically increases up your higher consumer spending. So that could automatically trigger up the growth in the industry. The second important thing could be your uh, strong economic growth. So when the GDP of a nation is going to be like really increased, that automatically helps up to make your better corporate earnings. Then if there are any uh, monetary uh, or uh, stimulus from the government and uh, if the central bank starts up uh, printing up more money, that's going to automatically ease up or that's going to make your uh, markets uh, fly high. Then your uh, technical enhancements or technological growth, that could be in a specific kind of an industry that could bring up opportunities towards uh, the growth and the profitability of a business. Then as companies flourish, they automatically show up a positive earnings report that automatically drives in the company's growth and the stock price automatically start growing higher. Then increase in uh, consumer spendings. So when the people start spending more, it drives demand for the goods in the market or it could be a service that automatically increases up your business performance. Then as a whole, the market sentiment, when people are uh, optimistic about the market, Get the higher demand for stocks, it automatically pushes the stock price to higher levels. So these are some of the uh, 
tailwinds which could be like helping you to play in the markets thing so now coming to our scenario of nifty going up really high high in the market it makes a higher high every day and day so if you analyze these headwinds and tailwinds you'll be able to understand that uh, info uh, the investors are making it like uh, making the uh, decisions on the market uh, depending on these factors or these uh, parameters and they expect their portfolios to behave according to these market conditions what could be the next big thing in the market so if the fed rates cut the us federal reserve will automatically reduce the uh, cycle and uh, the investors will start automatically increasing up their investments uh, on the earnings season when they see the reports of the companies and when the q1 results show up a good growth they will automatically start increasing up the investment on this that's going to be one key parameter then the rbi's uh, rate decisions if there is uh, inflations and the food prices are remaining a concern then the rbi could start up uh, uh, cutting up rates so that will automatically increase up your uh, global sentiments will increase up your investment into the market then the uh, political events though so the us elections are going to happen now so that all depending upon the uh, republicans so uh, if they are going to be like again winning this the market will sustain or wherever it is when the democrats are going to win this then that's going to be a differently a different story happening when the market will automatically start showing up greater sentiments towards this if you look at this chart you will be able to see that the fias have uh, reduced up their investment into the indices into the market whereas the dis have uh, started up increasing up their investment that's almost about 31000 crores into the market and for the first time the individuals the investors uh, they are also started investing more money into the market it's uh, roughly almost about 12000 crores into the market so that's what is showing up in the 2024 uh, results if you happen to see the uh, results of these uh, indices individually if the nifty has shown up a 32% of results in the last one year whereas the um, nifty mid cap index has given you roughly about 50% of growth whereas the small cap has performed about 54%. So this is going up here like a really huge rally in the market and the market is like showing up really greater trends into this. So there are various other factors which triggers up these uh, market scenario. So the final verdict, where is this Nifty uh, uh, further extended to or where is it like planning towards? Uh? So the Nifty index, uh, the large cap index still has got a potential to run up. So though the uh, mid cap and small cap has gone to a higher levels, the uh, P of uh, the large cap is like still at a lower trend so we can expect uh, at least a 5 to 6% of growth in the index still so uh, the nifty will definitely go up till about uh, 27,650 to be precise so uh, expect roughly around 27,600 uh, rally in the uh, nifty 50 index and uh, even if there is any uh, shortfall in the market there will be a little bit of volatility and there will be a little bit of cooling happening in the market but there is no uh, downward trend or the bearish trend expected in the market so the market is definitely going in a bullish trend and i'm expecting at least it to be like a 27600 uh, range so um, if you like this video do share it with all your uh, stock market friends or the investors who are into this market uh, so and uh, if you like this video do hit that uh, like button as well and i'll catch you up in the next one thanks for watching